Hello YouTube, and welcome to my first video on my new official channel, Echo. 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 So today what I have for you guys is a little thing that I like to call binging. Now, it's summer, and in summer, I get really, really, really bored. So what do I do? Binge watch. So today, I decided, hey, let me share with you, the good loving people of YouTube, the things that I like to binge. So you can binge with me, and we can all be bingers together. So without further ado, here's the top 10 shows to binge. Number one. Game of Thrones. If you haven't heard of this show, you are probably living under a rock. Everybody's heard of the show or seen it or something. But for those of you who haven't yet, come on now, let me give you a breakdown. Pretty much is about royal families fighting over the land of Westeros as they try to obtain the throne, the Iron Throne. Just like made out of swords and stuff. Hence Game of Thrones. This show has everything, okay? Dragons, talking trees, ice people, giant, dead people, live dead people, dead alive people. No. And for you naughty naughty little people, a lot, a lot of nudity. So parents, be on guard. If your kids go, oh, I'm gonna watch Game of Thrones, but I'm good. Not on my watch. Number the. Breaking Bad. Now, Breaking Bad is another famous one that's probably on everyone's binge list, okay? And it is one of the most well put together, memorable shows you will watch and rewatch one of those shows you can actually rewatch. Now, let me give you a breakdown. It's pretty much about a high school chemistry teacher named Walter White, and he gets cancer, and he has to pay his bills, and that Obamacare hasn't kicked in. So what's he gonna do? Sell drugs, because everybody knows drugs have a hefty profit. So you pretty much follow him and this kid, which is kind of his sidekick called Jesse Pinkman, and their adventures through the drug kingdom, making their special blue looks very tasty meth. And you really see how drugs can be really damaging, but he can make a lot of money. You decide. I don't judge. I don't judge. Number three, Sherlock. You've probably heard of Sherlock Holmes. This is a modern day Sherlock Holmes. All the smarts and wit of the old Sherlock Holmes with the humor and technology of the new Sherlock Holmes. So you pretty much follow Sherlock Holmes and Watson through their mysteries and crazy adventures. Shout out to the Brits for that one. You got some right. Number four on your list is not something you will find on most binge lists, probably not any. So yeah, you're welcome. This is an FX original show. It's called Fargo. Now Fargo is about a mysterious dark man called Lorne Malvo. He pretty much terrorizes this small town, Minnesota, okay? He makes people, specifically this guy called Lester Nygaard, do very dark things that they wouldn't usually do through some kind of manipulation that, I don't know, the guy's just good at what he does, just manipulates people. People just die sometimes and you know, you gotta deal with that. It's a great show and I really, <sighs> please. Please watch it. So number five on the list is ba -ba, The Wire, back to mainstream binge list, yay. Seriously, it's an amazing show. And it's not just any cop show, oh, you know, cops, oh, I've seen it before. Cop just catches the robber and the good guy wins every time. And like, they solve a mystery in one episode and they enhance and enhance and enhance. There it is. I can see the picture of the face through the glasses, through the window, reflected off of the mirror, off of the water on the, no, you, you get the Point. It takes you deep into the Baltimore drug scene and you pretty much get involved not seeing only the cop side of things but also the criminal side of things which makes you very empathetic towards them. Number six. House of Cards. Now, House of Cards actually makes politics, dare I say it, exciting? Okay, don't hit me. But seriously, House of Cards actually makes politics seem interesting. American politics, which we know are very, very, very confusing, okay? And you actually 
follow this congressman and his wife as they go through the government pretty much messing with people's lives because they were betrayed by them. So now they're taking revenge. But by the end of the show, you're left seeing that the quest for power is for those willing to lose as much as they gain. TM. Number seven. 24. This show was released in 2001 and then they had about eight seasons then they canceled it because they decided oh eight seasons that's enough but the people wanted more because you always want more. So what did they do? They gave you more. They released another season four years later which came out this year. There you have it. That's how good it is. They were forced into releasing another season. Enough said. Am I right? Vikings. Vikings! Vikings! What more do you want than Vikings? And I'm not talking Thor and Loki kind of glamorized Vikings. I'm talking gritty, axe to your face Vikings with beards and stuff like that. Now Vikings is a History Channel exclusive show. It's a story about a character called Ragnar Lothbrok cool guy actually and he is pretty much climbing up the ladder climbing up the viking ladder you know through the power system that they have there and he explores new lands and you know leads people and stuff like that and you just follow him and all the downfalls and all the build-ups and everything that he has to go through in his life while still being historically pretty historically accurate it is a fake story but it's done in a realistic way you can can watch it with your kids but in fact don't just you can watch it with your tweens but it is out considerate a family affair is very interesting and a nice way to learn history number nine Stargate SG-1 now I know what you're thinking yeah I've seen those Stargate you know Stargate Atlantis Stargate no 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 not Atlantis not universe not this or that no SG-1 one. What is it about? Let's start from the beginning. These people, right? They find this like Stargate right in this place, right? And it's like the Stargate makes a wormhole from Earth to any other Stargate in or outside of the galaxy. So you can space travel in a couple seconds just by walking through the Stargate. You follow a team called SG-1, their adventures through the galaxy. What I like about this, it is a wholesome family show filled with all the Fun and joy and laughter. No swearing, no sex, no nudity, nothing like that. You can watch this with your parents, but still not be numbed to death with boredom and unexcitedness. -ness. And last but not least, number 10. This one is an animated series for those who are young at heart, like me, because I enjoy my animated series. Avatar, The Last Airbender. Now this series was based on books or comic books or graphic novels, if you will, about this mythical world which is filled with people with elemental powers. That's earth, water, wind, and fire. A kid who is Ang, who's this avatar. And the avatar serves as, as a mediator between the spirit world and the physical world and it's, his job is to keep peace. Now, the series follows this Ang character as he goes through the lands trying to learn all the elements, because it's a kung fu thing, before the Fire Kingdom takes over the entire world. Because it had to be the Fire Kingdom, because you know he's the last airbender, and the Water Kingdom and the Earth Kingdom would never try to take over the world, okay? So there you have it guys, that is my opinion for my top 10 series and I mean there are some memorable mentions that I won't mention because I'd just rather make a whole entire top 10 binge list and I might actually make one just for animated series if and only if you guys like this video and comment below and say yes we want more and I'll give you more better every time and remember to subscribe and come 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 comment because at echo it's from your mouth to your ears also feel free to check out my music channel 
Digital Surge with DJ Nebs if you're into, you know, music. But most of all, thank you for watching. I'm Simba, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. That was easy.